back to Tap Enthusiast, Tatiana here, your guide to the forefront of innovation. Today we are honored to have Vladimir Small joining us. Get ready to unlock the power of flash calls, discover effective strategies for leveraging SMS, and gain valuable insights into communication systems that drive success. Vladimir Small has been heading sales and procurement in the global messaging department of Lang Telecom since 2018. He was promoted to this position after proving himself as a successful team leader of Middle East, Africa and Asia market of Voil Sales Department. Vladimir has 14 years of experience in the wholesale telecom market, specializing in SMS, voice and anti-fraud solutions. Could you please uh, give the meaning for flash calls? Because this is not a common word, we would say, in our vocabulary. It is true. It is true. And it's uh, for, from other perspective, it is not common service in all markets. So it really depends on the country. In some countries, uh, this service is widely used. In others, not that much. So flash call essentially is a missed call that is delivering four to six digit code in the incoming number. So you get a call from a from a random number and you have to enter last four or five or six digits of the incoming number into the application. So the registration pass. So that's that's how it works. Normally it's a missed call. There is no duration. You don't uh, need to, to pick it up. Yeah, that's how the code is delivered. In, in some cases, uh, this code is read by the application itself. So there is no need to input anything manually. In other cases, uh, especially on Apple phones, you have to input it manually. So there's, as I said, there are certain markets where flash calls are widely used, like CIS, as an example. One of the reasons why it is widely used is because the SMS rates in, in those markets are quite high. So there is high demand on alternative solution for, for SMS. And also the flash call is using operator channels. So it's also one of the channels that can reach almost any uh, mobile customer, regardless of uh, the application or the phone model that, that they have, that they use. What are the best practices, how to build the best voice communication system, let's say? What are the aspects which we need to consider? It's, it's a great question. <laughs> but it's, build... it's a wide question. <laughs> yeah, how to build the best uh, voice communication system. Um, well, first of all, uh, I think that it's important to have a proper voice provider that will provide you the channel itself with high quality and with competitive rates. And then it's a, it's just a matter of having proper developers or maybe finding the right partner that will be able to provide you with the solution. There is a lot of solutions in the market that, that can help you to build your voice communication within your platform, integrate with your platform. There is no need to invent uh, the wheel from zero, you know. So there's a lot of solutions that, that, that are uh, available in the market. But the important part here, I think, is obviously quality, because if you want to provide good service to your customers, then you need a proper provider. And then it's a question of finding the right one. How to find the right providers then? That's that's also a good question. Maybe uh, it's it's good to have uh, to search for references for certain providers. There is uh, you know there's companies that are winning some kind of awards. This is maybe not the best sign of uh, who is the best, uh, and also it really depends on the market. I would say uh, it's important to check within the professional networks within the link on LinkedIn as an example on who are providing the services and who are ranked high amongst others who have a good reputation who has good references yeah and that's basically how you can find the right one what kind of challenges do you think uh sms industry is facing and how to the industry from facing the problems yeah sms uh one of the major challenges that that, that sms industry has nowadays is that the rates for international sms are growing uh, as i previously said so the service itself continues to be the same, but the rates are uh, increasing. So it's hard to explain to your customer why they have to pay more for the same service. And another challenge that, that is here uh, in, in our market, in our industry, is that there is more and more fraud happening within uh, SMS uh, as a service. So then it's a question of... Uh, putting the right anti-fraud measures uh, within your platform, within your system, 
uh, to first have a visibility of what is happening and then ability to block it and prevent it, obviously. So I think these are the two main challenges within uh, SMS industry. These are pricing, uh, in some cases, uh, really unexplainably high rates for certain destinations, for certain uh, countries, and second, fraud. Stay tuned for our upcoming episode as we delve into the dynamics of SMS pricing, explore emerging opportunities in the industry and navigate the challenges faced in today's evolving markets.